React tests render a render 3x component into a pure JavaScript object, while the other testing libraries interact with the virtual DOM elements. So how that does work? So as you can see by the documentation, what it says is that this package makes it easy to grab a snapshot of the platform via hierarchy similar to the DOM elements rendered by React DOM or React Native components without using any browser or JS DOM. So, for example, the other libraries, we said we need to use a visual DOM renderer, which is JS DOM, but for this uh, library here, it doesn't need anything else. It just grabs a snapshot and renders it as a pure JavaScript object. And then you make your assertions against that JavaScript object that has been returned. So here's a simple example. So here what they have, they have a link button. What that link button have is it just renders an anchor with a href and the href have a property called page and also whatever children coming through. So what they are testing is they import the test renderer here from this npm package and then they created a snapshot of this component. Okay, and you can see here that they passed the prop page. So it's passed already. And then we have our children here. And when it comes to the cancel log, the way you can debug it is you can do cancel log, your test renderer that you created, does to JSON. So this one is give you a log of your actual compass it looks like. So for our example here, it have a type, which is an anchor, props, which is half passed with this link, and the children we have is one child, which is the Facebook test. So for more complex one, we have another example here where they have a component which renders a subcomponent with a property foo equal bar. And then we have a P paragraph here with a class name my and have a text hello. And the child component is just a P tag with a class name of sub and text with sub capital. Okay. So what we did again, we imported our test renderer and then we created a snapshot of it. So this one will return as an adjacent object and then what we do we access the route of it and then we make our assertions against that route so here for example they're saying let's assume so that we want in this instance to find this component which is here and i want that comp to have a props of foo so the props we pass here foo and i'm expecting that to be equal to bar so your route a test renderer dot find by type so we find our compile type then props then foo and then i want that to be equal to bar okay and that will be true another one they use is another uh, function which is find by props so you can find by props like by class name before we had a half you can use a half so that's a property you have in your element so in this example they say okay i want in my testing it test instance rows i want to check by props any element i have class name equals sub and i want of the children of that so children of this element to have a text which is equal to sub so only expecting one child for that and that would be a text of sub okay so this is an example here and here down you'll find all your functions which are very straightforward Now let's jump in our demo of our button and see how we can make tests against that. So first of all, we need to install our package. So npm install your React Test Renderer. And if you're using Yarn, then you do Yarn add React Test Renderer. I click Enter and that is installed. Now it is installed to import in our test file. So import text renderer from React Test Renderer. And let's create our first test. So, alt, let's give a description, for example, renders uh, my button text when icon not passed, for example, and that will be as following. So, we'll create first our snapshot, so let's do const component. You can call it anything you want, snap. And I will say test renderer dot 
And you see here, my Visual Studio Code is helping my creating intelligence for me. I'll need to create. And then I pass my button in there. So that's my component I'm testing. Button. And I'm saying that doesn't have any icons. So I'm not passing that. But I will use a property for this, my test, which is expecting data test ID, which I'll pass here. So I'll pass that one as a prop. And I'll say, for example, my button. Again, you can call this anything you want. Close it off. Okay. So I created um, my button snapshot. Now I will access the route. I'll say const component route, for example, and to be my component snap dot route. Okay. So always you will do this pattern. Now let's cancel log this and see what it is. Cancel log. I will say component snap dot to JSON and save it and run my npm run test command. And you can see here, so my type of my component is a button and the props I pass the data test ID, which is my button and the children is only the button text. Okay, which means it's really working as expected. But now I have to make my assertions to make sure my tests are working. So let's find our button. I will find by prop. I'll say const buttons. And I'll say is my component route dot find by props. And you see again my Visual Studio Studio code is helping me here. And I'll say the prop I'm I'm going to use is um is this data test ID here. So that's the problem I'm going to try to find my button with because it make it very easy for me. And I'm expecting the one I'm passing is my button. Okay, so I'll just copy this one here to make sure I don't do any spelling mistakes. And I will say, okay, this one find props and I want to access the children. Okay, so I'll just do the children and keep this one. Then I'm saying expect that my buttons and we said it's children and the children is array and I'm expecting to be only one child so I'll say buttons the first child to be and we need it to be what a text button save it and let's see if this will work and it passed Okay, let's remove our cancel to clean up our terminal. And now let's make another test where the case we pass the icon, we need the image to be rendered. So I say render my icon image when icon is true. Okay, and I'll pass here icon. Again, I'm finding uh, my button again with the same test ID and then I will say if I cancel log this one let me show you the cancel log will be different now because we have an image so to be this one to do JSON and let's save and forget about failing one because we didn't do anything yet there but I just want my log so you can see here now, so the children, again, we have type of image. So we know now you're not rendering a text, we're rendering image. So the child is only one child and to be an image. And it has type of image, the props is an object, the children is ignored because it doesn't have any children. So what we'll do, I'll say my buttons, again, the first one. And I'll say type, because I know the type, it needs to be an image tag. And I'll say an image. Click save and that worked. So that's how React Test Renderer works for us. So it's all based on objects and you can use the cancel log to help you out to target your component structure.